Hey everyone, this is Tracy. I'm coming to you all today with a video. The video is called What's in My Makeup Bag Tag. I think that's what it's called. So I, at first I thought that this tag didn't been, it wasn't meant for me, but I find out that I do wear makeup and I have a bag that I put it in. So I might as well do the tag. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First off, God, I, I usually have mine inside of what I, I have this little system going to where I like to have um, less stuff as possible. Okay, so what I usually do, instead of just piling all my makeup up and putting it inside of a bag, I have a system to where I have it broken down. Usually, what I take with me if I'm leaving the house is what I have on my face at the time that I'm leaving and what I am wearing. Okay, so I usually will put that inside of this bag, okay? As you can see, it's very, very small, so I don't need, I'm not going to carry a lot in this bag, okay? And all the rest of my stuff that I'm not using, but I know I do use on a regular, I keep it inside of this. So I will go through both of these bags to let you know what I have inside of them and so forth and so on. And at the end of this video, I also have, I mean, once I'm done with the tagging, then I also have another, I have a makeup haul. So... This gets, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, first what's in this bag, usually once again, is what I have on my face. And what I have on my face today is inside of this bag. And that is, I'm going to take my time. This is the palette that I am wearing of eyeshadow. This is the LA Colors. And the number on the back of it is, it's so square, I think 10038. I think that's what it is, but it looks like this, okay, in this L.A. colors. Very reasonable and good makeup, okay? So, I also have on my, on my lid, I have is my, this is the eyebrow pencil that I use to do my eyebrows with. It is uh, by Apple, and it's black, a cold liner, and it's black, and it's by a company by the name of Apple. I'm not for sure if you can even see that or not. But that is the, what I have under my lids and also under on my under here, okay? And on my eyebrows, okay? Then I also wear, no, I have, I'm sorry, I'll take that back. I have this on my eyebrows, okay? And this, which is the e.l.f. coal liner, is what I have on my under here, my waterline. That's the name, waterline. Okay, um, I also have just Bliss Tech as far as moisturizing my lips. And I use my clear um, lip gloss that I had purchased from Dots a while back. And that's really what I have in, there, in here. And then also as far as brushes right now, I have just these. These are the two brushes that I'll be using to create my look, okay? So that is all I really have inside of this bag, is this little bag. Like I said, once again, this bag is only for what I am wearing on my face at that particular time when I'm leaving out the door. I try not to carry a whole lot of stuff, okay? Okay, so that's it for this bag. Okay, anybody wanna know where I got this bag from? It came with this bag what you see it's a twin but this is a bigger bag and it's more like a, a little carry-all bag in which I do still carry this bag but it's kind of ripping on the inside so I really don't carry it as much but all I have in there is just some lotion and I have another moisturizing type lotion a dry skin Walgreens type lotion so I usually try to have lotions and things in just about every bag that I have but I had purchased this bag from Walgreens and it was for $5.99 and this little case was I think $2.99 something like that so I bought the both of them together so that's where I got this case from okay now this is what I will call my overflow this is like makeup that I wear on a regular, but if it's not what I'm wearing on my face for that day, I do not carry it with me. So what is inside of this little container bag I have is my number one favorite LA Colors palette again, okay? And the numbers and stuff been rubbed off of this. I couldn't even tell you what the numbers are. I do apologize. Okay, and also I have in here is... Um, 
I also wear is my black radiance um, my new black radiance is called bronze elegance and this is something that I've been wearing pretty much on a regular as well I hope that you all can see that name I've been pretty much wearing that on a regular as well since I purchased it but this is another one of my lip gloss that I purchased from dot this is one of my wet and wild palettes natural palettes okay that I like to wear all right and I got to keep one of these even though I usually have this inside of the the lips bag too but I have another one I don't know where I did with it but I usually try to keep one of these no matter what makeup bag I got that way I always have one to sharpen my eyeliner pencils and then the cold the the, the, I'm sorry, the Elf Cold Liner has its own pencil sharpener, but for the Apple one, it doesn't, okay? And I also have this, the black eyeliner, I mean, no, I'm sorry, black eyeshadow, that's for like a smoky eye effect, in which I have not tried yet. And here is another um, lip gloss that I have not worn, and this is another lip gloss that was from LA Colors that I really am too particularly didn't really care for, but I'm going to keep it anyways, okay? Uh, I don't know if that was upside down or not. Okay, and here is some little brushes that came with the particular palette. Once I figure out what palette they came with, I will put them back in there. I'm thinking it was the this one right here, okay? But a lot of times, these little brushes, I don't really use them that much, but I do use them, so it really don't make a difference, okay? And this particular little bag, I had purchased my satin pillowcases, and they came in this bag from JCPenney's, and this was maybe about, maybe about three or four years ago, okay? So I just kept a little plastic container, and this is what I use it for. Also, this, I tried to put these inside of a, I take a few of these out of here and put into a Ziploc bag, sandwich bag, and I will keep them inside of the the kiss bag that I would take with me just in case if I need to wipe my face or clean something off or put something back on right. This is what I do. I usually have some of these, but I don't take this whole pack with me anywhere. But for, um, you know, just in case, like for cleanup purposes, this is what I use to do that with, okay? So I usually put that inside of the kiss bag as well, but I don't have the sandwich bag thingy handy yet. So yeah, that is it as far as what's all inside of my makeup bag. So if you have any questions about anything that I've shown in this video as far as makeup or anything else, please leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move right along to the haul video that I had um, had also because it was, um, I wanted to go ahead and just combine all these together. That way, instead of just making one separate video here, one separate video there, I just have all these together, and then, you know, hey, uh, if I want to edit it or do whatever, I could, okay? Well, this is the other bag that I really carries around, just in case anybody would like to know, because it's also a thing about the makeup bag as well as what's in my bag tag. Now, I believe that would be probably be another video at another time by itself, but because things vary from day to day or what I put into this bag, but for the most half, this is more like my bag that I carry day to day. I like this bag because it has a long strap I can carry across my body as well as if I don't want to have it that way I can carry it like this and it's pretty as you can see it's very spacious to where I could put a lot into it okay so yeah so I would just maybe share what's in there now which is not really much okay and as you can see the word of God sitting right back there I believe that's what that is oh yes Yes, yes, yes. You must have that, okay? In all bags, whether it's small, big, or large. Well, you don't need to carry a large one. I mean, this size like this is fine enough, <laughs> okay? As long as you got the word with you, okay? So, yeah, that's pretty much. And also, this usually was supposed to be inside the makeup bag, but a lot of times I keep that in here because every day I don't wear makeup, but that don't mean I want to look at my face. But this is just a mirror that I've had for like umpteenth years and I just went and located it 
uh, located it. And um, I've been using it since I've been, you know, been wearing makeup and stuff. So this is like a compact mirror, okay, which I had this thing for years, all right. And it has a magnifying mirror as well as one that's regular, a regular mirror. This is your regular one, and this is the magnifying one, all right. So, yeah, so just so you all can get a good look. Oh, I don't want to chop my skin up in there. But, yeah, I usually carry this just in the purse, but this is part of of a makeup kit as well. All right, so moving right along to the new items that I purchased as far as makeup line or makeup wise. What well, to start off, this is new. These is a new pack of these. I have purchased these from Walgreens and so far I have to say that I really like these. They really do the job of cleaning off. Um, really, I don't use this too much to really clean off makeup. You know, like at the end of the day to do a makeup clean off. I like to the moisture, I like to take oil and put it on a um, to put it on a uh, uh, sponge or q-tip or whatever and not sponge but um, uh, cotton ball <laughs> or q-tip swabs whichever one that you choose to use whichever one I choose to use and I will use oil to take the makeup off then once I've taken the makeup off with the oil then I use to go behind after that I'll go behind that with these and then I will wash my face but that's really what I use these for and I have to say they so far they you know they they do their job I mean I haven't I can't uh, it's got no alcohol in it no oil um, it has vitamins uh, and it's no perfumes or dyes but this is pretty good okay and this is at Walgreens I forgot how much they was and it's it's 25 of them per pack okay but I think you can get a super size pack too. Okay, now, so the newest things I've purchased is this one right here. Uh, is the lip color from um, Black Radiance. And it's the bronze, ele when is that elegant, bronze, bronze elegant. And it's a Black Radiance brand. I really like this color. It is a very pretty kind of shimmery light color. But it's brown and I just think it is so pretty. I hope that the camera is really showing how this looks. But it, it looks kind of burgundy from where I'm looking at it on here. But it's actually a brown color. All right. And I had to go and get my favorite, favorite, favorite wet and wild color. Okay. I guess you all can see that. Let me take this off. I like the new packaging that they starting to have the wet and wild lipsticks in now. But this is the color. And it is just so... Pretty. It is really a pretty burgundy plum. No, it's not plum. It's more burgundy. All right. I love this color. I love, love, love this color. Of course, the, you have to um, constantly apply it after, um, you know, like eating or whatever. But the number is 508. Hope you all can see that. All right. 508A. Can see that so yeah this is that color and I purchased this new wet and white no this is a black radiance waterproof um, liquid liner this is what I had purchased and I say that this liquid liner has made me improve how I'm doing my cat eye I don't know if you all can see it but I am getting better with doing that someone said to try a black liner I still need, I still see I need work, but practice make perfect, and I'm fine with that. Okay, but somebody did tell me to get a black liner, and I did, and I do see the better results with that black um, liquid liner, okay? And I also purchased this new uh, liquid um, clear, liquid crystal clear, as they call it. It's a lip gloss, and it's from... And it's from Wet n' Wild also, and that number is 561A. All right, so that is new. Okay, so that is that. Okay, now this is something that I really purchased by accident. I was not trying to buy this, but I'm going to try to see what I can work with this and how I can use it. But it's called the Perfect Points Plus, and it is a uh, felt tip eyeliner that is from CoverGirl. And the color that I purchased is gray when I really wanted black. I'm thinking they said, I think it said something about being charcoal, and I just thought that that was black because a charcoal is black. 
but actually they talking about the gray part of it when it's, you know, the fire then cooked it down inside of the barbecue grill. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to work with this. I don't know if that might look black through there, but it's actually a gray liner. So, okay, and I think that this would be something superbly okay to get and put inside of the kids' bag because this is something that we all use most of the time. And instead of me um, carrying all those brushes and so forth and so on, I could just have like a little travel size brush set inside of here and that is it. So I wanted to show you guys this, but I'm also going to put it inside of my carry-on bag. See, instead of me carrying all these long uh, things like this, I could just take those out and do these. But I might let them stay in there anyway, whatever. It don't really matter. Okay, but that's the reason why I bought that little travel size brush set. Um, I purchased that from Walgreens, and I believe it was at $5.99, something like that. So I think that was pretty good for that. Oh, but these was this was a uh, dollar. This was about, I think, $3. I can't really exactly know what the price was because I've torn this apart and has been using it. So, um, but I know this is a dollar. This was like about $4. It was on sale. Um, this was $0.99 cent or a dollar. But this in particular, I can't, the Black Radiance uh, Liquid Liner, I can't think. Now, I think this was like $2.99. I think that's how much it was. Because I think it was on sale. And I just went on ahead and got it. Okay. My next thing that I purchased and I had to try, I really like these colors in here. It is the Wet n Wild. Um, it's called the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Number 738 Palette. I guess you can see that. These are the colors that are in there. And I think these colors are look like they're going to be really fun to work, to play around with. And um, so I can't wait to really open this up and get to playing around. But these are the colors. I hope that it is a good payoff so you can see them that good. But yeah, but this is it. And on the back of here, I'm pretty much seeing where with Wet n Wild, but it's been lately a lot of makeup is pretty much making it real easy for beginners to use. So I really like this how they have that labeled on the back with what you should use for what you use number one for this side and number two for that. That way you can't go wrong. It'll make it real easy for you to learn how to start applying eyeshadow. And my last but least thing that I purchased from Walgreens, and it was this. Okay, it was the e.l.f. brush set. Okay, well, as you know, they're getting prepared for this Christmas holiday to so where you're buying stuff as gifts. And they have their own little packaging and everything. So I thought that this would be a perfect beginner uh, set for me. It was $9.99. And I think this is what they call the, now it's called the e.l.f. professional brush line. I guess so. This is 10 pieces is in here. And you have in this pack, you have your blush brush, your foundation brush, your brow combing brush for your eyebrows, your eyelash and eyebrow wand, um, your eyeliner brush, your concealer brush, your eyeshadow brush, your smudge eye sponge. That's that little sponge that usually come inside of eyeshadows that a lot of people don't too much care for. Uh, is that. And... Um, you see your smudge eye sponge, your lip defining brush, and your flawless face brush. Okay, so all of those pieces comes inside of here for $9.99, and I got it at Walgreens. So, yeah, so that is it. That completes my little uh, haul video as well as what's in my makeup bag um, tag.